Hi everybody, um, it's me, Lucky Blue. Uh, when we did this Q&A, I showed up in the uh, Discord call and like did a funny little intro that I didn't record because I forgot to put my microphone on the track. So here I am doing this instead. Um, here is Not So Heavy Arms, the voice of all the interns, and here is uh, Paprika Jack, the voice of Hero in Mobile Suit of Bridge, Gun and Wing. They are going to be your funniers uh, today. Please enjoy and don't be mad at me, okay? All right, love you, bye. Uh, hello everybody. I am Paprika Jack. Uh, I do the voice of Hiro Yui and I believe Dr. Shoals for the show. Hi, I am Not So Heavy Arms. I do voice all the interns in the show. Uh, they would be one character, but it's a bit that we have continued to name all the characters. So it looks like I have played so many characters, but it's same hat, same voice. Oh yeah, just to avoid confusion, Jack and I are brothers. Uh, Jack is my older brother. All right, you want to pick one? Yeah, sure. Uh, Hobbs asks Pepsi or Cola, and uh, or Coca Cola, and I'm a bit of a, a soda snob, I guess. Uh, I like root beer a lot because I don't know, I'm American. <laughs> uh, and I would say. Supposedly, for like the sip test, Pepsi is preferred over Coca Cola, but I would flip that for the root beers. Uh, so I actually prefer mug root beer to drink, uh, just a lot of versus, uh, Coca Cola's barks. Uh, Wing Zeno asks, "Is there a boss character you've truly hated fighting in a video game? D and D can also be included." Um, okay. my my answer for this question is, and it, it may be shared with Heavy Arms actually. Uh, when Fatalis was added to Monster Hunter Worlds, uh, yeah. we we had a party of four and we were working at that thing for like a week. And there were points where we were just like end a call at like three in the morning, and we were all tired and just like, how are we going to get this thing? Um, at one point, uh, for 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 reference, you can change the color of your armor in that game. And there was a point where every time I died to a fire attack, I would turn down the brightness slider on my helmet by one tick. And it took them a few days to notice. <laughs> <laughs> Just Communication asks, can you do your best impression of a line the other says? Oh. Throws, throws the question at heavy arms. Okay. Um... Pick your favorite, <clears throat> bud. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll kill you. Ooh, good one. Good one. All right, I got to do I got to do an impression of an intern. Oh, yeah, okay. So the line that comes to mind is uh in a flashback where you get uh you get you're you're in a suit and you get rocketed out of the sky. You get hit, right? And you're just like, "Oh, man." <laughs> like as you come down. Yeah, that's how it be. I love that line. That's my favorite line you've done. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel like it's a lot of variations of that specific line. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well I might as well get this one out of the way. Blue asks, Jack, tell us a story about your favorite invasion from any Souls game. Doesn't matter. Spin us a tale. And I have the perfect one. So I invaded a group of four players who had uh hold themselves up in this chapel room only opened the last door and activated a seed of the tree of giants meaning i would have to play through the entire level for them in order to fight all four of them in the same room with no backup lo and behold upon getting to this bonfire room these guys i shit you not were both named and looks exactly like four of the five main characters from the Adult Swim show Metalocalypse. <laughs> Woo! Needless to say, uh, I got my ass handed to me. And uh, in an attempt to get the salty run back, I immediately invaded again and tried to get yeah. back into that world. And I managed to I managed to succeed. And this time I had a plan. Perhaps I could aggro a particularly strong enemy and have it chase me into the bonfire room with them. 
And the first thing that came to mind was to check and see if they had uh, managed to kill the mimic in the level. I figured I could probably uh, aggro it without dealing too much damage to it and drag it to the bonfire room. Now, I did lose the last invasion, but I did manage to kill one of the characters. I think it was Toki. I'm sorry, Toki. Uh, <laughs> and what do I see upon entering the bonfire room? Something that changes my outlook on this whole situation. The three members, the three non-Toki members of, of, of the Metalocalypse troop that I have invaded were all crouching around a gravestone. <laughs> they were holding a funeral for their lost dead band member. And I felt like complete shit as the mimic ran past me into the room and started chewing on Nathan Explosion. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I, I've seen this one in a few other uh, Q&As. Uh, so Vi asks, how many interns does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> That's um, a good one. <laughs> and I, I honestly thought about this, and I believe it takes between four and five, so 4.5 on average, uh, to change a light bulb. Uh, there's one to physically get up on the ladder and change the light bulb, one to hold the ladder, one to Nosferatu the light switch, and then one to two to go ask knowing where the heck the light bulbs are. And it's only two if the first one that goes gets incredibly lost. So yeah, four, uh, 4.5. Oh, I guess there's Blue's other question. Um he would like us to name uh, the next two interns in the script. Uh, you go first. I I will go Vanderbilt. Uh, I that that might be too long, and it could skew the the formatting of the script. Uh, so if if Vander is better, that would be cool. Uh, how about you, Jack? Keep that in mind. Make it incredibly long if you want. That'll just trip me up in the booth. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. I think I should keep it short. Uh, try not to be too intrusive with the name that I give them. So uh, my, my intern name will be uh, Wendy's 4 for 4 Combo Meal. <laughs> no, it Beautiful. cannot be shortened. That is the whole name. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Uh, I, you know I think it's your turn. Is. Oh, it's my I turn? I think it's your awesome. turn. All right. Okay. Uh, three times slower asks, would you do recon in Antarctica? And I, I think to answer that question, I, would, I, I will say that like it really depends on the people I'm with because that's basically the only, uh, the only levity I'd get in that situation. So... Uh, would I do would I do recon with say like blue or gray? No, absolutely not. Would I do recon with heavy arms? Absolutely. I think he would be he would be like the sunshine in my dull white void. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay. I love you. Blue, I love you. This is our QA. Yeah, whatever. I guess I'll just go write Heroes F and Playlist 2. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that? It was confirmed. Oh shit. We we have that on recording. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh Hobbs asks for Paprika Jack. In Blue's stream yesterday, he mentioned that you had poor taste in games. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically Donkey Kong 64, since he knew you in high school. So I was wondering, how long have you and Blue been friends? Um, we have been friends for what, like uh nearly I wanna say like twelve, thirteen years now. We, we've been best friends since high school, basically. Um, and to quickly comment on that poor taste in games, I do have poor taste in games. I'm quite proud of it. I worked very hard refining my poor taste in games. Uh, Wing Zeno asks, are you yourselves the VAs allowed to put in jokes uh, relating, relating during or before the voice work? Um, so we can run jokes by Gray. We can we can do jokes in the booth, and if he likes them, he'll he'll put them in. Uh, 
Gray in particular is a little too much of a coward to take my best jokes and put them into the show because oh, it's just gonna ruin his, it's gonna ruin his his writing or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean to be honest, like every every time I've given him just like a wild joke that would have changed the, uh, changed sort of like the uh, narrative flow of the show, he chose to do something that made far more sense and was far better for the long run of the show. Ah, yeah, I, I got one. Uh, so this is a question from Grimm, and I'm going to direct it at Heavy Arms. Okay. What is your name? Uh, not so Heavy Arms. What is your quest? Uh, to answer some questions. What is the capital of Assyria? I believe it's Azure. Wow. I thought you were going in the pit for that one, but you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you may pass. Woo! <laughs> Gonna get that grail. <laughs> well, I feel like we've gotten through a lot of questions today. Yeah, I, I feel like we've done a good chunk of them, at the very least. Uh, sorry if, if we missed you, or if there's anything that's like, oh, it's just, you just really want to like get it out there. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> uh, so You're I'm gonna, welcome, I'm gonna take Blue. that I'm gonna take that as your uh, your cue to say we're done here, folks. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming, and we'll uh, see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.